What's up, Survivor Fanatics? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to Subsistence. So, the hunters respawned over here, okay? Uh, during the night, or actually, it was like it was like early evening, and they started shooting at me, which was kind of annoying. I spent the entire night inside just kind of organizing, and by the time I came out, they were gone. So, that's cool. Uh, the problem is, I don't know where the hunters, like the rogue hunters, are going to be on the map, because it was raining, so I couldn't see the campfires during the night. So, we're just going to have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, before we do anything, though, we are going to work on the distiller. Let's go ahead and check what we got here and what we need for the distiller. Um, so we are going to need 1,200 and 200, okay? So, um, I, all right, this is cool. We're going to be able to use the recycler. So let's grab some stuff for the recycler. And this, 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 and this. And I think it still takes power when you use this stuff, but let's see. Yeah, it still takes power, but n not a ton of power. Um, it's definitely more efficient than the other way I was doing things. Um, the problem is then you lose your items, but that's okay. These are items I, I don't really care about anyway. And we are up to 160. Okay, so that's everything we needed. We're at 160, so we're going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We got to get that to 200, then we got to get that to 1200. And I, I got a, like an idea of how I want to build here. Um... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this closet. I might move this closet. I might not. Right now, I kind of like where it is. Uh, the only thing I'd like to do is, well, do we want to turn that around? Yeah, let's turn that around. We're going to turn this around because I don't really like the way it looks right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we'll put it right here. And then we'll grab this and we'll put it back over there and turn it around. Okay, so two brings it closer. And there we go. Is that it? Yep, there we go. Cool. Um, I will be moving this BCU back, but probably not back too far. Um, I will probably put a wall right here and have the BCU right there. Or what I could do is I could expand the base that way, which also might be something I want to do. I'm not really sure. When the enemies come in for base attacks, which they eventually will, uh, they're going to go for this. So that's kind of what I have to be concerned about. All right. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get some resources. While we wait for that, um, for the power to come in, and we're gonna have to stay, we're gonna have to stay pretty close because the fact of the matter is, well, actually, I can only hold two hundred. Hmm, should I go for some protein? I probably should. Um, anyway, I can only hold two hundred, uh, two hundred mass. So I think once that hits two hundred, that thing will automatically shut off. So we honestly, we really don't have to worry about it. What I would like to do though is grab some of this and put it in the generator to keep this going. All right, I'd also like to make some more arrows. Uh, so let's go ahead and come over here. I'm going to, like, to the other places where my stuff used to be and it's not there anymore. Uh, we're gonna grab this, this, and we're gonna need some feathers. And let's go ahead and make two, four, six, eight, ten. Sounds good to me. Put that there. Um, and then put the, this in here. Okay. And then we will take some carbo- Oh, speak of carbohydrates. I was like, I'm gonna take some carbohydrates. We, st we still have more stuff to do up top. Um, medical plants, cotton, corn, uh, onions. There we go. Alright, we gotta plant all that stuff. Yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, let's get up- let's get up top. The plants are ready to be harvested. So let's come on up here and harvest those. Alright, I don't like doing this off camera. But then, like, I'm waiting and I'm like, ah, it really should be done right now, you know? And I'm just like... But I really shouldn't be... I don't like harvesting this stuff off camera. Because it's pretty, um... It's pretty satisfying, isn't it? Even if you're only watching. To just hear the... And knowing I'm just getting a ton of tomatoes. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so how many tomato seeds am I going to want? Um, well, at least five. And let's plant what we've got first. Cotton. Um, yeah, man, we need potatoes, dude. Like, uh, I'm so pissed off. I ate all the potatoes. It was so dumb. All right, so we got that. Uh, do we want more of this? No, nah, probably more of this. Um, let's go ahead and extract another five, and one more. There we go. Up, oh, something just went off. What was that? Oh, is, I guess my mass is at max, which is cool. All right, so max uh, mass should be at 200. There we go. And we just need to keep that going. So let's go ahead and dump this food off. And there we go. And have some of these. 
There we go. And we're gonna need some protein. Let's see if we can uh, get that wolf. There's a wolf that's somewhat close to my... Eh, he's not really that close. I mean, I could just shotgun him, but I'm trying not to use my ammo. I don't think shotgun ammo is overly useful for fighting really anything. Well, you know, it would... It's good for when stuff gets all up in your face. So yeah, the shotgun's pretty useful. Um, so, I, you know, I could probably kill this wolf with the bow. Let's see. Okay. And by the time I get back here, he should be right on my heels. Okay. Nope, not close enough. Alright, that's alright. I just don't want him going back there because there was a bear back there. Damn, they go high? Okay. Okay. Whoa, I really went slow. Where the hell did he go? I actually slowed down a little bit so he'd, he'd come to me. Damn it. Okay. We're still getting a little uh, used to the arrow drop, but um, I think left to right, I've got down relatively well. So let's go ahead and butcher this sucker. And I'm going to show you a tip that someone gave me on Discord. They sent me a picture of, like, little tips on how to aim with the bow. Um, there's no way I'm going to find the arrow over here, am I? No. I think it's worth a little bit of a look. Well, I couldn't find the arrow, but that's okay. Not really a big deal. What am I looking at? Seven arrows left? Okay. Alrighty then. Is it worth using the arrow on a rabbit? Probably. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? So what, what the person told me was, you see, the, you see the arrowhead? The left, like, part of the arrowhead? Uh, they said that that is what you're aiming for. There we go. Yeah, I just, I can't get the height down, you know? Like the arrow drop. Uh, did I, did he see me? No. The arrow drop is what's killing me. Left and right, I'm okay with. Um, the arrow drop is what's killing me, but yeah. What he said was the arrowhead, the left part of the arrowhead, like the back part of the arrowhead, the left, like, I don't know. The left part of the arrowhead is what he told me to use as the, as the um, aiming mechanism for uh, left to right, but up and down is the problem for me. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and butcher this guy and cook him now. And then we're going to go out and get some more resources. Possibly. Unless we get to 1200 power, which I don't think we're going to get to. Uh, I hate not knowing where the uh, rogue hunters are, man. I don't like the rain. The rain puts out the campfires. And without the campfires, I can't spot them. So I don't know where the heck they are. It sucks. <laughs> I'm already on edge in this game all the time anyway. Uh, this just makes it all the worse. Alright, so I just gotta keep my eyes peeled. I'm gonna try and go to, to the Ortastic area. Or the Ortastic rocks formation. But there is a bear over there. And, um, you know, the animals tend to wander into where you don't want them to be. It's kind of like magic. But we'll see. Yeah, look at him. He's already going towards Ortastic. Go to Ortastic. Defend it. Don't let Cage get any of it. Alright, well. Uh, he's, I, did he turn around? Well, he was turned around for a second. Probably trying to fool me. He's like, go for it, Tastic Cage. What's the worst that can happen? You'll be fine. Okay. You know, because I have the um, auto miner uh, set up on... Um, I almost called it Cobalt. A lot, of, a lot of ores in these survival games I play. Now, because I have it set up on Copper, um, I actually don't mind not seeing Copper out here because I'm going to need the other ores as well. And I'm not using the auto miner for those. So, this works out. Where's that bear? Where is that bear? Well, I'm not seeing any hunters. Which is nice. Stay over there, bear. Don't come this way. <laughs> Stay over there, bear. Um, I was going to say make my day, but it sounds like... Uh, that sounds like I want him to come over here. No, you stay over there. We'll be... We'll be best friends if you just stay the hell away from me. 
All right, I'm gonna go this way. He's starting to wander over to me. We've got a wolf over there. I, I probably want to. I want to kill another wolf. I'd prefer to kill them when they're by my base, though. I want to start using arrows to kill the wolves because shotguns will be important against a lot of other things, including uh, hunter bases when I go inside. So, usually, what's gonna happen? I'll give you guys an idea of what's gonna happen on the hunter bases. All right. I'm going to blast open... Uh, well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scout out the hunter base, okay? There's going to be about two or three hunters outside. I'm going to snipe them until they are dead, okay? I'm going to snipe them until they are dead. Once they are dead, I will um, throw two Molotovs at the door, and then I will use the pickaxe to destroy the rest of the door. I'll probably bring two of them. And, um, and then the thing is, once you destroy the door, though, there's usually another hunter, like, waiting inside. So you got to be prepared for that. Kill him, take all their stuff, you wait three days and you go after him again. Uh, that's why I need the potatoes. I need the potatoes to make the booze um, so I can make some Molotovs because Molotovs are important. You can get in with grenades, but they're, they're way more expensive. I don't I don't like the idea of using the grenades. I mean, you can just sit there and beat on the door that axe all day if you want to, but I, I prefer to use grenades. Uh, otherwise, it's just a, a, a boring, tedious task. All right, let's go this way. I did see an ore up here. You know, we should go back to base. Um, we probably have all the power we need. Yeah, let's head back to base. Hopefully I can just go down the beach. Although, I think there's a bear. Yep, right there. Okay. I did see a box over here, so let me see if I can get this box. Okay. Um, two boxes. Ooh, this would be nice. These are going to have nails in them, too. Oh, that's good. I need those. I'm actually almost out of those. Like those uh, electronic parts or whatever they're called. I don't normally run out of those. It's kind of kind of odd. So that that's actually a really good thing to get. Maybe even better than nails? I don't know about that. That's, that's saying a lot. I'm going to think I'm going to swim home and probably hit up some, uh, some pearls on the way home. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Harvested the fish on the way in. Uh, got one fish, turned it into fish oil. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. I'm going to cook that up. Um, I am going to need some water, but that's not really that big of a deal right now. Uh, let's close the door and... Oh, yeah, okay. See, we went overboard on the power. That's okay. Uh, distiller. Okay, so we need wood, metal, and circuit boards. Wood, metal, and circuit boards. Circuit boards, wood... I'm going to need some more wood. Um, and metal. At least we have a lot of metal. That's good. Okay. I don't think we have enough, though. Yeah, we don't have enough wood yet. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. This ran out, right? Oh, no, it didn't run out. Okay, so I went to 1500 before that ran out. Interesting. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that. And... Uh, how long is this gonna take? What, I have five? Six? Oh, it's gonna take a bit. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that, we're gonna grab... Wait, where did I put my... There they are. We're going to grab these. We're going to go down and get some water. We're going to water our crops. Alright. There we go. Come on, jump. There you go, buddy. Looking good. I need to actually do some fishing fishing, too, by hand. At some point today. Well, maybe not today. Soon. Pretty soon. Kind of pretty soon. Alright, let's go ahead and do... We'll put two of these in here. We'll take the other ones up top. And I also want to make another farm plot. Like, I'm going to have to make one. The next uh, crop rotation. I'm going to have to make another farm plot. These aren't going to... These aren't going to do it. Uh, put some of that in there. Put some in that in there. We should probably bring some ash up top, too. Because I've, I've almost got two stacks of ash. But um, I know you need the ash. You need to make the adhesive. It's, it's kind of important. Safety first. All right, how much wood do I have? Oh, 11. Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay, and now we're going to have a distiller. Doesn't really do us too good. Uh, too much, like... It doesn't really do too much for us until we get the, the, the potatoes, but... Eh, at least it's one less thing we have to worry about. Okay, we got another wolf to kill here. There we go. Now, this is a long run, but I don't think the animals can catch up to you as long as you're sprinting. As a matter of fact... Oh, boy. I was about to slow down so you can get closer. He's right on me. Okay. Beautiful. They, they, could, they could, like, get close, but I don't think they can hit you. 
Okay. One more shot. And we will have another wolf kill without using any ammo. Well, no gun ammo. There we go. Beautiful. Worked out well. Oh, uh, there we go. Man, the potatoes. Did I really eat potatoes? God, I can't believe I ate the potatoes. God, that was so dumb. Ooh, liver. Nah, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I've got like six freaking... I've got like six antidotes. I, I think I can... I think I can eat some liver. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and wash off. And let's grab this bad boy. I think I saw another one up here as well. Let's take a look. There it is. Okay. Alright, let's get in here and cook some liver. Um, I will turn this on so we can kind of see. See around a little bit. Uh, liver, liver. We'll put that in there. We'll grab that. And we'll just put it all in there. Looking good. Do not forget about the liver cage. Don't you freaking dare. Um, you're going to need some of these. And we probably need a couple of these. There we go. And some more of these. All right. Now I'm just going to sit here and stare at the liver, liver until it's done because I'm so freaking paranoid. I'm going to forget about it. All right. Base is looking pretty good. Um, I've got this thing drilling down um, sandstone ore because I'm going to need glass uh, in order to make the Molotovs. Uh, where are they? There we go. Molotovs. I'm going to need glass. Two booze. Basically need 12 potatoes. Um, here, let me show you. I put down the distiller right here. All right. You need six potatoes per. You need two for a Molotov. You need two Molotovs. All right. So you need 24 potatoes for one, you know, attack on an enemy base. I've got a lot of potatoes to grow. Um, also, there is some uh, rogue hunters right over there. Here, I'll show you where they are on the map. All right, so there's the rogue hunters. I don't see any more over here. So it looks like I got this whole area to myself, which is really nice. Should make for a good looting day. All right. Um, I think this is going to be a chest collecting day. Uh, I sh really shouldn't have any problem with hunters at all. Hopefully, knock on wood. No, my desk is not made of wood, but I, I think you get what I'm saying here. Um, and I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to look around. I mean, we'll grab some wood here and there. And I will obviously grab any... Um, any kind of cordage I can, or, you know, the plant fiber. But for the most part, it's going to be mostly... Wait, where's my thing? I thought I made one of these. Yeah, there it is. There we go. But for the most part, it's going to be about getting chests. We need to, um... We really need potatoes. I, I know you could pick potato plants on the ground, but they, they like, really blend in um, with the ground. So I, I, no, I normally don't... I, I normally can't spot them. So... We'll just see how things go here. I'm not going to kill anything because by the time I get back, the meat will probably be spoiled. And um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get some let's get some materials, man. Normally when I come out here, I'm like, wood. I got to get wood, 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 wood. But nah, that's not today. Not today. Um, I think what I'll do is whenever I'm tired or out of stamina, I'll get some wood then. I'm going to go this way. Uh, is that two growls? That sounded like two growls to me. Yeah, whatever. He ain't on me. I don't care. All right, we got a bear to the right. We'll stay to the left over here. And we can't go too far to the left. Cause, oh, we're pretty far away from the shore, actually. But that's where the uh, rogue hunters are. And I'd prefer not to dance with them. Especially now that I found out that they don't... Um, I could have swore rogue hunters used to drop weapon parts. But... The fact that they don't drop weapon parts makes them a real, just an absolute waste of time. Even arrows, like, even if you're going to use arrows. Well, they dropped the gears. I guess you need the gears. Um, I freak, I don't know. Okay, let me put it this way. The gears are used to make some kind of big charge. Some kind of, I want to say C4 charge, but I don't know for sure. But it's some kind of big bomb, okay? And if you attack an enemy, um, if you attack an enemy base, what you could do is you could blow up their BCU. Okay, and then, you know, that's what you need the gears for. Is the Are the gears used for anything else? Honestly, I don't know. I want to say yes, but I don't know for sure. And here's the thing with blowing up the uh, enemy's bases. Um, by the way, let me sit up. This is a sit up in the chair situation here. The thing about blowing up the enemy bases is I don't want to. I love where their bases are. <laughs> At least the ones I know of. And the ones I don't know of, I, I guess I don't care because I don't, I don't loot that area. Um, so... 
there is no way I'm blowing up an enemy base. Uh, you know, they're just they're in a really good spot for me. Last time I played, uh, you know, I built in kind of the same area on that rock. I built out in the out in that um, lake on the, in the middle of the rock, and the freaking um, hunters set up right by Ortastic, so I couldn't get it. I couldn't. I mean, I might be able to sneak in there, maybe, but it was really risky, and I just I didn't want to uh, risk it. So, and and that was the um, that was the fortress, by the way, the big base. Um, for those who don't know, uh, the enemies will big, build bases, but one enemy on the map will, will build a fortress, and it's a giant giant ass base it's incredible really crazy oh and another thing if you guys are playing this game and you decide to try and raid some of the uh raid some of the hunters um be careful because i've never mentioned they could put well they, they not can put they do put c4 around their bases so you'll be walking and i believe i got blown up by a c4 once i, I don't think i got killed though I, I think i survived it i just must not have had any legs left i don't, I don't know i don't know how it survived that but I don't think I died during it, but yeah, they do put C4 around their bases. So you gotta be careful. Um, I've noticed that usually by the campfire, but not always. You just gotta really be careful. Okay, so let's see. What we got going on here? I'm getting a good amount of chest, which is good. I'd love to find a lock chest. That's what I really want. But we'll have to see, you know. It's not up to me. It's up to, you know, the, the gaming gods. It's, it's out of my hands. Well, it's looking good for me. Um, I got a potato seed, which is awesome. I actually found the plant and picked it and got the potato seed. And here is a lock chest. Just gotta be careful. Make sure there's nothing around. Looks pretty clear. Let's see what we get. Honestly, I just want potatoes or potato seeds. Um, okay. Well, weapon parts. Yeah, actually weapon parts too. That's not a bad chest. Not a bad chest at all. Four weapon parts is really nice. Alright. It is not all that late, but I think I'm going to turn around and start heading home at this point. Um, uh, let's be careful. Let's just come through here. Uh, yeah, like, what you want to do is you want to go back the way you came. Because a lot of times, like, chests and stuff will spawn behind you as you come through. I don't know how true that is. It might be just a superstitious thing for me, but... It is the way I like to do things. Um, and a lot of people have told me that as well. Like, so, um, yeah, it probably is true, but I, I can't say 100%. I didn't develop the game. But, yeah, I'm going to go back the way I came. All right, I've been away for a long time. So let's go ahead and see if the fridge is still on. It is. Cool. Well, I don't need it on anymore. Cool. I, I was wondering if the fridge was going to last, and it did. That makes me very, very happy. Um, the next thing we have to do is go check our traps. So let's go do that. It's the only thing I don't like about these fish traps. You gotta, you, you can't really go out for the day. I mean, I guess you can, but... Oh, wow. This one's not catching anything. I wonder why these aren't catching anything. Oh, see? That one caught something, but it went bad. See? That's what happens if you go out for the day. Yeah. They're alright, but... I, I don't like having to, like, kind of hang around the home all the time. Otherwise, you get... I mean, I guess I'm gonna need that, like, um... I guess, I'm, you know what, why don't we do this? Why don't we kill, butcher, and cook. I guess I'm going to need the spoiled meat at some point anyway. So, and that was a successful, a successful run. That was a really nice run. I didn't get a lot of wood, but I knew I wouldn't. That wasn't really the, the reason I was out there. Um, but yeah, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and plant those potatoes right now? Oh, I don't have any room for them. Damn it. Is it worth sacrificing something? Yes. God, that hurt, but, I mean... I want these, uh... I want these growing. Oh, that would have been cool if it took over the amount of, uh, space that the other one had. That would have been cool. But, yeah, I, I didn't really expect that. I think next episode we need to, um... We need to make another plant bed. For sure. Yeah, sacrificing some tomatoes sucks, but you know what? My carbohydrates are, aren't doing too bad, so... It shouldn't really be too much of a problem. Okay, and there we go. Looking good. And I think we're done here, guys. I think we're done here. Rearranged. I rearranged the base. Um, I went ahead and made the distiller. Making the distiller was a, was a bad idea. I didn't realize I would need so many potatoes. But what are you going to do? Hey, you know what? Now it's done. So when it's time to use it, we will be able to. We got a really, really good loot run there at the end. That was really good. So 
Overall, though, I think we made some serious, serious progress today. And with this game, it's all about progress. It really is. So, all right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you've been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.